Breaking news. Campaign taking to another level. Omoyele Showore jumps into Ondo Lake as he campaigns for presidency, causing serious reactions. Hello, my wonderful people. The AAC can, uh, presidential candidate Omoyele Showore um, has taken the campaign to Ondo. Uh, we'll get into Ondo. The guy um, did not just uh, go around town like other you know, aspirants would do, but Omoyele Showore jumped into the river with those in the river Rhine area and the water side saying to every one of them, let's do this together. Yes, we can. Let's bring Nigeria out of our present predicament. Let's save the nation out of what is experiencing today in the, in the hand of the All Progressive Congress. It is time for Nigeria to move forward. Omoyele jumping into the water has caused a lot of stare as many Nigerians are wondering and asking, what is this? Is it campaign? Is this what the campaign is all about? Well, my wonderful people, this is the elections upon us. These are things going on currently right now. And the truth of the matter remains is that if we don't uh, stand up for what could potentially, you know, deliver us from the present predicament that we are in, we don't know when we are going to get out of it because we don't want another repeat of Buhari, you see. Uh, 2015, we thought we were coming out of the frying pan. How much more we saw ourselves in the fire? Uh -huh. Let's get all the details. Campaign taken to another level. Omoyo Lesho already jumped into Ondo Lake as he campaigns for presidency. The 2023 general election in Nigeria is fast approaching and many politicians have shown interest in partaking in the presidential election. Among the politicians who have decided to partake in the presidential race is the African Action Congress AAC presidential candidate, Omoyele Showore, the national newspaper reports that the presidential aspirant visited his hometown in Ondo State. The politician paid a visit to paid a visit to Ondo Lake as supporters, mostly young native troop after his vehicle in a show of solidarity. The politician was quoted to have said that he that the lake was like home as it brought back pleasant memories of the past to him. He entered into the lake together with some of his supporters as they played together. Shoare emphasized the importance of tourism to the country, saying almost every aspect and area of this country have what they can use to bring about new direction and decision to this country, especially in the area of tourism that could become a real source of wealth and income for this nation. He said these areas and these people, all that they can bring in, you don't need to get even more jobs. This, our, our very own natural resources is enough to start with bringing tourism to these areas, saying the lake would have received visitors by now if he was the president. The presidential candidate called upon the people to give him the support he needs so that he can move Nigeria forward. He mentioned places like Henry Jesha and many other sites in Nigeria that could potentially be tourist attraction and bring in more possibilities of wealth creation, job creation, and in turn better the economy and the nation. However, these very things have been neglected by visionless leaders who have no opportunity to deliver Nigeria. Since it came in, there have been serious unemployment, the economy has dried up, and many more. Nigeria is currently in debt because of the choice of the leaders we made. We must make better decisions moving forward, says Omoyele Showore. So my wonderful people, that's Omoyele Showore who has gone to Ondo State. By the way, he's from Ondo State. Uh, he went there soliciting for votes. And when he got to his people, he began to, you know, talk to the people with regards to how things have been and what, you know, the, how they should support him, you know, and his emphasis was on, you know, the lake. He said, you see, this lake would have been a great site of tourism if he was the president. And so he enjoyed the people to try and give him the undying support. He said, because what we have in Nigeria, I mentioned a place like Henry Jesha, you know, where we have the cold and hot water and the other sites. 
Okay, that's just one he mentioned. There are lots of other sites all across the country that could potentially seriously be tourist attraction centers. You know, but again, if these places are tourist attraction centers, they are beautiful mountain hills areas, the way the whole formation of the stones, the, the gravel, the, the, the road, the whole mapping, the way it goes, these are beautiful sites that could potentially be tourist attraction. But when you have a visionless leader, Okay, a visionless leader who have no 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 insight, no idea of what to do and how to bring out the people out of poverty. These are some of the things you experience. We have a visionless leader. Does he even know that there are sites in Nigeria that could potentially become, you know, great storage attraction centers? That could potentially bring Nigeria out of the out of the current poverty, you know, situation. If these tourist centers are working, there will be people working there. There will be students working there. Why they are in school, they are on holiday. They can come there and work and make some money. And you see, this will take a lot of people out of the quick fix of making money and joining Yahoo and the and the and the host lot of criminal activities that young people these days get in, get you know get in, involved in. By the way, that's not a yardstick to for anybody to commit crime. If you involve yourself in any form of crime, you are caught, you'll be dealt with with the full out of the law. However, we've not annexed the possibilities and potentials that we have with us in this country to bring about a change to this nation. We have done a lot of things. However, we have not, we've not even checked inwardly. Before the, before the discovery of crude oil in Nigeria, Nigeria's Naira was very strong. We were focused strongly in what export. What were we doing? Our granots, cocoa, cotton. These are areas that we are focused with. You know, we go to the farm. You know, we have we have farms, and people were doing excellently well. At the end of the day, by the time crude oil came, everybody abandoned the very fundamental of what has brought us to that point, to that place that we are we are now forced to be reckoned with. There was a time, you know, our parents had people, foreigners coming to Nigeria. At that time, you don't need to go and take visa to go to the UK because our Naira was strong. So who wants to leave their country? Your, your, your country needs to apply for visa when your Naira is not strong, when, when your money is not strong, when they feel that you are at flight risk, that when you come, you will not want to go. And uh, so they will have to put some restrictions and ask you to bring this and that and that and that document. So these are part of the things that have put Nigeria in a very tight corner, so to say. You see, we need to continue to go back to the basis so that we can come out of, of you know, of the oppression that we are in as a country. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.